Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. And we drop news every day and we also react to every videos that comes our way. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, we appreciate you for your massive support. And we say may God richly bless you all for supporting this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please kindly smash on the subscribe button. Put on the bell so you get to know anytime we drop a new video. I have a video to present to you this very moment and I will be watching that video with you. And after watching, let's drop our opinion constructively at the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Uh, in the main, I discussed uh, the state of uh, the healthcare system. Uh, industrial disputes uh, with Mr. President. As you well know, the resident doctors are still on strike. Their strike has now entered the 33rd day uh, today. Meanwhile, government is doing everything possible to make sure they get back to work. Out of their 12 point uh, issues raised in their demands. We have <clears throat> done all. We have uh, come to agreements on all, including those that even affect the Medical and Dental Consultant Association of Nigeria and the medical doctors who are in academics and teaching in universities. So we have handled all. The only point of disagreement now is that uh, they said that in the agreements, in the memorandum of action, government should insert, include that section 43 of the Trade Dispute Acts will not apply to them. That section says that uh, when a worker withdraws his uh, services from his employer, the employer is at liberty to withhold payment of a moment to him. And there are low principles at uh, work and uh, a strike said you can use that money to pay other people you have engaged in those particular period of strike. So you have a right to strike, but your employer has also the right to withhold your emolument. More, more importantly, uh, in other climes, unions, before they go on strike, by that principle, they discuss with their workers and bring out what they call strike fund. And it's from that strike fund that the union will use to pay the workers that have gone on strike. And they will also even agree on the number of days the strike will last. That's why overseas and in other climes, you don't see strike getting more than uh, three days or four days or five days highest. And much more importantly, again, people on essential services, medical services in particular, where you can lose life, they, are, they don't go on strike any, any, anyhow. They, they, they only do picketing and things like that because people's lives are involved. So this is where we are with them. And we are saying that even if anybody cares to put it in any agreement, that clause will be void ab initial because it's against the law of the land. And we will not, as a government, succumb to undo arm twisting and then go and uh, sign that. Other workers have lost their pay during strike. The Joint Health uh, Systems Union, Johesu, they lost their pay in 2018 when they went on a four-month strike. They lost uh, about two or three months uh, of the pay when the no work, no pay was invoked. Academic Staff Union of uh, Universities, ASU, no work, no pay applied on, uh, to them. They didn't pay, they, nobody paid them anything for six months for six months, and it was during COVID. So, um, 
we can handle things ad administratively, but uh, nobody should untwist. So that's where we are. But um, I agree with Mr. President, and we have agreed <clears throat> that they should come back to work. And if they come back to work, we can take other things from there. We will draw the case in court, and then they will come back and get things done. This morning, uh, the Salary Incomes and Wages Commission, in conjunction with the Office of the Air Service, and we had a meeting, and uh, they are jointly going to do a, a secular that will be issued from Salary Incomes and Wages. Rest restoring, not restoring actually, to, to reiterate that uh, the house officers and the youth court doctors are still on commerce scale one and two respectively. So I think in the main we are doing the implementation. We have also from the monitoring we, the meeting we did this morning, Ministry of Health has uh, gotten the list of uh, doctors who are supposedly to benefit from the medical residency training fund. Uh, total submission of about 8,000 names were gotten, and the Ministry of Health is scrutinizing them. They have done their first round of scrutinization, and they will now compare what they have with the, medic um, uh, the Postgraduate Medical College and the Chief Medical Directors who submitted the names. The ARED in the that's uh, Association of Resident Doctors in each of the tertiary centers worked with the CMDs to produce those names. But now that the names are being uh, verified, they discovered that about 2,000 names shouldn't be there because they don't have uh, uh, what is called um, uh, postgraduate reference numbers of uh, National Postgraduate Medical College and, or that of uh, West African College uh, Postgraduate Medical College. So this is it, and um, that is the only thing holding back the residency fund payment. The residency fund is there already, uh, i.e. For, for it, authority to incur expenditure have been done by the finance uh, minister and uh, it's in the accountant general's office. So once they verify the, the, the authenticity of those that are submitting, Akatanjara will pay. We are doing that verification because we don't know what happened last time in 2020 to reoccur. In 2020, they submitted names. Uh, it didn't come through the appropriate source, which is the Postgraduate Medical College. And uh, payment was affected, and it was discovered about 588 persons who are not uh, resident doctors benefited from such money. And they are now finding it difficult to make the full refund because they have to refund that money. So I'm refunding, but there is no full reconciliation of the account. So that account has to be reconciled to, to enable uh, the accountants pay the, the next round of uh, fund for 2021. So anyway, that's what I briefed Mr. President on.